All right, folks, Chris back here with part two of this video. Was interrupted by someone coming along with a weed whacker cutting all the grass there. Sorry about that. But back to the issue at hand at Seneca on the 16th. You need to consider this to be like a military operation, whether you're going with a group of people or you're going there independently of your own volition. You have to consider that you will be a target there and your family and your property may be a target back home. Keep that in mind. Be prepared for people to try to entice you into doing something inappropriate, saying things inappropriate. If you do go, let's use good behavior, folks. As always, be well behaved, be restrained, be proper, be respectful. In the face of all evil, be respectful. Because otherwise you will be portrayed in a horrible fashion that's untrue and does not reflect the true character of South Africans. And I call on all South Africans, white, black, Indian and colored, to show their revulsion at the lack of action by the government of South Africa and by the domestic terrorist actions and calls for violence by the economic freedom fighters. Simply being present is enough. But be prepared to protect yourself and withdraw. Have egress routes to get in and out of wherever you're going. So bottom line, folks, is when it comes to Seneca on the 16th of October, if you're curious or you want to pay, play a role, you have to ask yourself this question, should I stay or should I go to Seneca? And that's the bottom line. Whatever you do, be safe. But bear in mind, folks, that nothing happened. Nothing ever happened. 26 years, the government ignored this. They denied it. President Ramaphosa went on international media and lied about the situation to Bloomberg News. There are no farm murders in South Africa. No white farmers are murdered in South Africa. Utter nonsense lies, demonstrably provable to be false. Yet he did that. Then he comes on television this year and says that white people by nature are racist. And this explains why South Africa has gender-based violence. Of course, this is the same party that gives us members of parliament who go before members before the parliament in session and say that Jan van Riebeck came here 2,000 years ago. Uh, 1652 was not 2,000 years ago. It's the same party that puts members in parliament who say, why do we need farmers? We get our groceries from pick and pay. Are you serious? What's next? Is Guam going to tip over from too many Marines being stationed on it? Utter lunacy, stupidity. Folks, this is the reality. The government has ignored the situation. Only of late, 41,000 motorcycle riders showing up in Hauteng. Protests also taking place in Cape Town, in Durban, in Pumalanga, all around the country. And then after that, people showing up and driving to show their revulsion at this. Then the Vitkois Monument. And then thousands showing up at Brendan Horner's, the arraignment for the murder, the suspected murders of Brendan Horner. This government only takes action when they're afraid. And I'm not saying you intimidate the government, but they're afraid when people are united. South Africans unite. Unite in revulsion at the African National Congress's shameful betrayal of the liberation struggle. They've lost the plot long ago, and South Africans suffer as a consequence. If you're going to Seneca, be careful for yourself, be careful for those around you, and be careful for your property and your home. God bless and good luck, folks.